Before you set your shipping rates, you should define whether your store uses imperial or metric units. This is done under settings and then general. If we scroll down the page, we can choose whether you use the imperial or the metric system, so pounds or kilograms, and click save. The shipping the customers pay at checkout is set under settings and then shipping and delivery. Shipping is calculated in Shopify by assigning a product to a profile. By default, all products are added to the general shipping rates profile, which is the default profile. If you want to set up different shipping rates, you need to set up a custom profile. To edit the general shipping rates, click Manage Rates. Here you will see the products that are added to this profile, and also where the products are shipping from, and what the products are sh shipping to, and the prices. The shipping rates are determined by zone, which include a number of countries, and also rates, which can either be weight or price based. So here we've got a European Union zone, United Kingdom and the rest of the world. If we want to add a rate, see this one here, standard, zero and up. So for the UK now, I've just deleted all the rates, which I did by selecting these three dots on the right hand side and doing delete. And let's now add a rate. So we're gonna add our own rates. And here we're gonna say the shipping speed. We have a number of different options for shipping speed, standard express or custom rate. So let's just do the standard rates first. So if we add conditions, we're gonna do it on order price. So the minimum price is zero and say the maximum is 49.99. And for that case, we're gonna say 5.99 because we're trying to encourage people to have a larger basket size. That will create one set of rates. We now, okay, we need to do 50 pounds and above. So let's add the rate, we're gonna set our own rates, standard. The price is going to be zero and the conditions, the based on order price, the minimum price is going to be 50 and there will be no maximum price. So that gives us our standard rate shipping, but what if we want to have an express rate too? So let's add another rate for the United Kingdom. Let's choose a shipping speed express one to three days. In this case, we're going to say the price is 7.99 because that's being sent by DPD or something. And the condition is where well, it's going to be based on item weight. Basically, there is no limit, so for all items and therefore we have an express king there. There's no condition, all items, that is an available shipping rate. There are a number of other options you need to consider when creating rates. If you want to add your own rate name, then set, set up your own rates and click at the bottom here, custom flat rate. You'll be able to add your own rate name and your own price and then conditions as before. If you click use carrier or app to calculate rates, you will see a list of standard rates which are available in the Shopify system. In this case, Hermes UK, Hermes offers discounted rates to Shopify customers. If you click the services here, you can set it so that you offer a percentage or flat mount above the rate that the Shopify is charging you, which is a very easy way of calculating shipping. You click done, these app and carrier rates will appear alongside your rates. If you want to add a new zone because you feel that the shipping needs to be more granular, then click create shipping zone. You could, for example, decide that you want to create a particular zone for Asian countries. So we click Asia and we'll call this zone Asia. And at the bottom here, there's no rates at the moment, but we will, this will split out those Asian countries and you can add different rates for them. If you want to create a new set of shipping rates for a particular set of products, you need to create a different profile. This would be under custom shipping rates and then create new profile. You need to add products to the profile. In this case, we're going to add this product. And those products are then be removed from the general shipping profile. You can then add zones and shipping rates as with the general profile. Before saving the profile, you need to give it a name. I'm going to call it profile two and then save it. And here we'll have custom shipping rates, profile two and the general shipping rates. If you want to offer special local delivery, this is done in the local delivery section. Let's click manage. You can then set your local delivery zones. These zones are either set by postcodes or a delivery radius. So you could, for example, set a local delivery zone up to five kilometers away from your HQ or up to 10 kilometers. So let's set the first one as up to 10 kilometers and a minimum order price of 50 and the delivery price of five pounds. But they can then offer a second delivery zone, say of a delivery radius from 10 kilometers up to 20 kilometers a minimum order of 50, but the delivery price is then 10. And then we can save that. Finally, you can offer local pickup. So if we do that, then it offers a pickup location and you can say 
how long it will take before the item is pick upable, and then where the item will be picked up from, and then some instructions. As mentioned before, Shopify has deals with certain carriers, in this case, Hermes UK. And here, you, if you click here, you can check the rates which are being charged, and you can also print test labels to check that you have the ability to print the right labels. You can create packing slip. Shopify has a standard packing slip, but you, if you click edit, you can edit the HTML of the packing slip. Finally, if you have a carrier account, this can be integrated with Shopify, but you'll need a higher level plan for this. And also, if you have custom order fulfillment, say if you have a company shipping it for you, you can add a fulfillment service here, and it will automatically email all orders to that email address. So let's send them to Trevor and trst.com, at which point, whenever there's an order, this person here will receive an email. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.